Next is, now in the case of um, Balfour versus Balfour, we were on the concept of with the intention to create legal obligation, just connecting back to the point where we lost our, uh, you know, a connection. So we were saying that it has to be with the intention to create legal obligation. So I gave you the example of father and son of father and daughter. Now here, there is a very, very important case that you must know like you must know. And this has to be in your answers when you're writing this, you know, for your exams. And this case just follows you throughout your life. So Balfour versus Balfour, 1919 to KB is King's Bench 571. Now, in Balfour versus Balfour, what happened was there was this husband who promised his wife to send, um, one minute, I'll just admit these people. Okay, so in Balfour versus Balfour, there was this husband. So the surnames are Balfour. So Balfour versus Balfour. So Mr. Balfour promised his wife, Mrs. Balfour, to send, you know, 30 pounds, oh, sorry, 30 yeah, euros, 30 pounds, 30, not euros, 30 pounds. He said that he would send his wife 30 pounds per month. Subsequently, Mr. Balfour, he failed to, you know, provide her 30 pounds every month. Oh, failed to send her 30 pounds per month. Then Mrs. Balfour got annoyed. She reminded him, but he did not seem to give her those 30 pounds. So the wife then filed a case against her husband. So Mrs. Balfour filed a case against Mr. Balfour and the court held that there was no intention to create legal relation. Thus, the agreement was not valid. So this is a classic landmark decision. There was no intention to create legal relation. Therefore, the agreement was not valid because this is a personal kind of an agreement and comes under the ambit of social agreements. Yet another, just an example I would give you is, <laughs> sorry, it was someone, uh, you know, calls 10 people for the party and out for a party and out of 10 only two people turn up so you have already arranged food for so the others so you cannot sue the remaining or here another example um say that you host a party not uh, you you host a party uh, in a hotel or uh, some eating joint and everybody turns up 10 people you call all of them turn up and uh, suddenly you realize like your debit card isn't functioning your credit card isn't functioning and uh, since these are the days of you know debit and credit cards you know sometimes you don't carry cash in case you're a lazy person like me you don't carry cash you just have those cards and say now it's not working or say the 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 wherever you're gone that that person that commercial uh you know outlets those uh, swiping machines aren't working it happens so now what would you do then any of your friend will say no problem i will pay for it so there is no now suppose later on you don't pay the friend back so he agrees to pay just like that, don't worry you can pay me later and he agrees to pay for you so the question comes whether you can the, the your when the friend when you don't return money back to your friend so, uh, uh, you know, does a friend have the right to get the money from you? So the answer is not really, because there was no intention to create a legal relationship there. It was just that your cards weren't functioning. And now, for whatsoever reason, you're not returning the amount and he's annoyed and he or she is annoyed and she files a case saying that, no, he has to give me back the money. One day, this, 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 you know, these were the facts of the case and he has not returned me because he's angry. And he files a case. The court will say, no, there was no intention really to create any legal obligation there. There was no intention to create a legal relationship there. So therefore, this is just a social arrangement, a social agreement. And it cannot be called as an agreement that was really valid and does not have the legal obligation or legal binding factor into that. That is, enforceability factor is not there. 
So therefore, you cannot call it really as a, you know, a valid uh, offer or because that offer was not having intention to create an illegal relationship. So these, this is also an example for you. So <clears throat> the third thing is offer must be clear, definite, and unambiguous. That means it not, must not be ambiguous. Opposite of ambiguous is unambiguous. Ambiguous means which something which lacks clarity and unambiguous means that means which is clear. It's lucid, it's clear. So for example, this is the last point for today. For example, um, A <clears throat> places an ad in the newspaper saying that I'm offering to sell my car for, and it does not specify which car, you must be having different cars, different, uh, uh, you know, different names. So say a Mustang and uh, say some Ford and different, different cars, say he's having three cars, but it doesn't mention really. Or if, if I just try to contract this, uh, I mean, uh, contract in the sense, try to make it more narrow, this example, say that Mr. A, uh, you know, tells uh, Mr. B, I want to sell my car to you for whatever dollars or whatever pounds X, let's say number X. So uh, this guy feels, well, he's selling and he's always, you know, this, uh, the other guy, his friend has got some other car in mind because <clears throat> Mr. A has got three cars and he loves one of the cars. This guy, I mean, some, he's been appreciating one car. So this guy, even without asking clarification, which car you want to sell, he directly jumps to the, uh, you know, he jumps to that conclusion. Probably it is a car that he likes a lot. And he, the car that he has been appreciating, he immediately agrees, wow, for such a small amount, I'm getting a car. So the question is, what's the offer clear? So he, he, you know, he cannot also redress his complaint. The reason is this guy did not really specify which car it is. And the other guy did not see clarification as to as which car it is. So the offer must be clear, definite and unambiguous. It must point out clearly to the object, the entire object or whatever is the purpose of the agreement. It must point out directly the purpose of the agreement or uh, what is the object of the agreement. So the offer must be clear, definite and unambiguous with the intention to create a legal relationship that is the legal enforceability part of it. So for an offer to be legally valid, it must be clear, definite, unambiguous with the intention of creating a uh, legal obligation and it must be communicated. So, so far we have studied three principles or important elements of an offer. For an offer to be valid, it must be communicated with the intention to create a legal obligation and the offer must be clear, definite and unambiguous. So you know what's a contract. Just I'm trying to revise with you for a moment because this is something, these are basics. So once you understand this, you'll understand the subject. So what's a contract? A contract is an agreement which is enforceable in law. So what is an agreement? So I said that a contract can be defined as an agreement that is enforceable in law. So what is this agreement? Agreement is offer plus acceptance or off, in addition to offer, there must be an acceptance for it to constitute as an agreement. So what's a contract again? Offer plus acceptance plus enforceability is a contract. So in agreement, we said that offer plus acceptance is an agreement. So what is this offer? So we said that offer for an offer to be valid, there has to be three elements in it. Offer may be a promise or a proposal to do something or to buy something or to with the intention to legally bind the party. Is. So what are the elements in the offer for it to be a legally valid offer? One is it must really point out to the object or the purpose of the offer. Uh, it should be clear, it should be unambiguous, it should be lucid, it should be clear. Next is offer has to be communicated because without it being communicated, 
how are you going to know? So next is it has to be communicated. And that communication should be with the intention to create legal obligation. Next class, we're going to study it. We're going to delve into a bit deeper and then you're going to learn even with examples and it's going to be much more clearer. But for now, it will suffice that you know just the legal meaning of a contract that is an agreement that is enforceable by law is a contract. So contract is agreement plus enforceability. So what is an agreement? It is offer plus acceptance is an agreement. Now today we learned what is an offer. Later on, we will see what constitutes a valid acceptance and whether silence is acceptance or not. So that's all for today. And I know all of you are present. No, one person is not there. It's Deek. The Kader, the Rahman, Abdullahi, Aisha, Naima, Isay. Because I know there are two girls, Aisha and Naima. Then Isay and Abdurrahman and Abdul Kader. So one guy is missing. Okay, we are we are here all. Only one is missing, Sagasi. I'm missing. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm so sorry. So Kasim is missing. Correct. So who is Deek here of all this? Deek. Deek oh. is Abdullahi. It's Abdullahi. Ah, okay. So your name is Abdullahi also. Okay. Dick, Dick is only nickname. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry. Okay. 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 So today I got it. So Abdullahi is say Abdullahi. So Abdullahi and Dick is one the same. And the, the Kasim. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So really nice. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I love to hear the voice of the girls because you hardly talk. I think at least for this class, like now that we already got to know each other, you can interact as well. Be free. This, okay. uh, bro, for this class will be in, in the morning or will be in the night? Or only, no, this only class today. will be in the morning because on Tuesdays, I got a longer day. So, yes, uh, uh, okay, I'll okay, be okay. at work. So, after this, I it's like every day throughout the week I'm busy, but you know on Tuesdays it's like fun. a heavy day. Right. Tuesdays, Wednesdays. We feel like to be in class in the night, but it's morning. No problem. We will accept, inshallah. Okay. Amen. Okay. Um, it's good in the morning because you're fresh compared to. Oh. DJ, this is only one day. Yeah, this is only one day for you. Correct. Yeah, I okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Nija, this uh, morning is only in uh, Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, yes. This another subject law uh, law of insurance. But I think that's uh, for the other um, other class, I guess. So for this class, I for contract we meet every Tuesday morning. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Okay, when there's no problem. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Teacher. Thank you. Teacher, do you have time another day? Yeah, I have another day with uh, the night. In the night. So, uh, it's it's time to have. Yes, it's time. It's good to have. Yeah, even I wish Two. that it was night. But the thing is, like, already things are changed and it was approved by your. Uh, and uh, already, you know, confirmed with the days because, and it's okay because this subject is a little bit, I wouldn't say heavy, every law subject is heavy, but you know, this is something that you must know because contracts are like everywhere and, you know, it's like every day, sometimes you enter into a contract knowingly, unknowingly, as I said, grocery store and so on. So you must know what is it really. And I think morning is fine. Maybe in between, anytime, if you want, maybe we could keep it at night. We can make it flexible that way. It's not a problem. Okay? I hope that helps. Maybe anytime in between, if you are really, really not able to come and meet me in the morning, so maybe we meet at night. But let us keep the same time, like how we did it last time. We'll keep it at 8 p.m. your time, because for me, it gets to 9 p.m. 
9 to 10. So you let me know in advance anytime if you want me to any once or twice, maybe or whenever you feel like as a class together that you need all of you agree together that let's meet, let's have a class today at night instead of morning. So on that particular Tuesday, but you'll have to tell me in advance, not just, you know, a day before because I'll have to get ready and I have to shuffle my things. So that's a reason. Okay. I hope that helps. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, bye-bye all of you and see you for the next class. Tuesday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.